never mind Pakistan. But she was courageous beyond courage. And I think all of us need to remember and, and spread the word. You know, that's the least we can do. So, I didn't know her for very long, but I knew her very deeply. I met her in February, again through Harvey. Um, and this woman stayed in my house for five days. And she walked around my house, and her footsteps, I truly believe, were a benediction to my house. Her thoughts and the way, what her vision, her vision for what Pakistan could be and what we as Pakistanis could be is, was unsurpassed. And I think that she will have achieved in her death what, what no one could possibly imagine getting around to achieving in our lives. I mean, in that one moment, in that one moment, over here of her. And that smile, that smile is just something when I close my eyes, I see it. There is, you know, she understood me the minute that she went, yeah, I'm a little out there. She understood me. <laughs> and she just, and she just joined in and she, you know, she said to Marvi, she, you know, I, I spoke to Marvi on uh, the day that it happened. And Marvi said, you know, she, she said about that night, it was, it was a big all dressed up and she came to this party and she said what am I doing what am I you know, what are, why have you brought me to this place where there's all these people and they're dressed up in these fluffy gowns and they're doing their thing she, but she just walked right in and she took over every hole and every gap that there was left in my heart she and I'm I, I didn't know her mom but I knew her deeply that I like Nanda says, I will miss her. I just heard from a friend in Karachi that T2F is closed until further notice and I feel like that would be traumatic for Sabine. So if any of you have friends in Karachi who you feel can take, I mean, I know that they have the circles and they know, but we must encourage people not to close the place now. And I mean, I, I, I think a lot of you know, but I mean, like Sabine was the person who this play that I wrote, some of you may have seen it, but this play that I wrote was, it is about being Muslim and Pakistani and South Asian and queer and different and an outlier and neither here nor there, part of the diaspora of being South Asian. Like, how do I fit in? Where do I fucking belong? And she said, you fucking belong here. We need your voice in this country. And I said, but I don't know if Pakistan's ready for me. Look at my hair. And she's like, look at mine. You know, and it was just, it was just this, this ability to believe that this country, our country, our motherland, our homeland could be something better and could be the way we wanted it to be. That it didn't have to be something we could only create a space for here. That we could go there and have that space as well. And I think she made me believe in that in a way I never thought possible. So much so that when I was about to perform at her cafe, all of a sudden, my entire Khandan, my entire family in Karachi is like, Fazia, you didn't invite us to your play? And I was like, oh shit, I forgot how famous her cafe is. All my family wants to come see this big gay play. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and I kind of was like, no, 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 later, later. But because of that, you had this like, Dawn newspaper critic come to that, hear me speak, hear me perform, see me screen these lesbian videos in her cafe. 
and write really favorable things. And then so much so that I was invited to come back. So much so that when I came back, she's like, Fozzie, I'm leaving from Paris. I can't see you. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? You have to see me. You're the reason I'm back here a month later. If you don't come, I will be devastated that I'm not performing. So she's like, okay, yeah, fine. So she comes back. And I was like, and you have to do the Q&A afterwards. And I think the last physical memory I have of her is truly coming afterwards, after the play, coming up to me, knowing how important it was to do this kind of work, to give these kinds of voices voice in these spaces, to challenge the norm. What is norm? I don't even know what that is anymore. But to create a new normal. And she came up to me and kissed me and hugged me, grabbed my fist, and we start walking in the, into the, onto the stage, and she's just... She's like, Fazia Mirza, everybody. And I was like, Sabina, embarrassed, calm down. But that expression of triumph is literally the, the most beautiful image I have of her. The last, one of the last images I have of her. And I think that's something that we need to remember. She is, she was, she is, she is triumph. And she had the nerve to do something that we talk about we talk about in circles, we talk about in our dreams, we talk about on paper, but who actually does it? She did it. And I think that that is, if there is God, that is so godly to be able to do that and live outside of yourself.